Good morning, good morning. How are we doing today? We are blessed. We are blessed. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Yes, we are blessed. And sometimes we don't even realize how blessed we are. We're blessed. We don't even realize it. How about that gift of music? What a blessing that was just to carry your heart into the light of the glory of God. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, when we share something together, and it's wonderful when we get an opportunity to share it again, that is a double blessing. And so uh, if we were to um, have pizza tonight for supper, and then tomorrow have pizza again, what do they call that? Leftovers, that's right, leftovers. Leftovers, that's what we're going to talk about today because leftovers are an amazing blessing. And when you share leftovers and the joy of leftovers, you don't even realize what an amazing blessing it is. Pizza is a great leftover. Are there other things that are great leftovers? You eat them and then you eat them again the next day? What do you think? Any dinner is a good left. How about turkey at Thanksgiving? You eat it on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, and then you have turkey sandwiches, mm, which is leftovers. And how good is that? And some people say lasagna the second day is better than lasagna the first day. When you have the leftovers, you eat them up and it gets all gooey and delicious. Lasagna could be the best leftover. Turkey, definitely a good leftover. What about bread? Is bread a good leftover? Yeah, bread is a good leftover. That's what we're talking about today in our gospel lesson because last week, what did we talk about? Talked about bread. We talked about how Jesus fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. So we talked about the, uh, uh, the hope in the heart of the young boy who was there. And he had five loaves of love and two fish of faith. And, and with that bread and those fish, Jesus fed a multitude. And that's what we shared last week, the blessing of bread. And now in today's gospel lesson, what do we talk about? Bread. The people chase Jesus around. He's come across a lake. The people chase him around because what do they want? Bread. They want bread. They want bread. And Jesus says, you're chasing after me because I filled your belly. But the blessing that God can give can feed your soul forever. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Anyone who eats of me will never be hungry or thirsty again. And so the blessing of the bread of life is greater than the blessing of the bread of the miracle. It's greater than the blessing of the bread that came down as manna from heaven when God fed the children of Israel in the wilderness. Jesus has come down from heaven as the bread of life. And if we share the blessing of Jesus' life in our lives, it is a blessing that feeds our soul every day, no matter what. What if we get mad at God and say, God, I don't like the way my life is going. Does that mean Jesus stops feeding our soul? No, there's nothing we can do, nothing we can say that will keep God from entering into our life in Jesus and feeding and filling us up and helping to sustain us so that we can persevere no matter what it is that comes our way. Like in a couple of weeks, you guys are going to be going back to school. And you're going to need to persevere because you're going to say, oh, I want more summer vacation. But summer vacation will be over until it comes around next year. And you can say, ah, leftovers. It's all good. You know, I was thinking about leftovers and great leftovers. And I think leftovers, there was one thing of leftovers that I used to eat in the summertime that I think could have been the best thing I ever ate in my life. That when I was growing up, at this time of year, I'd be back on a farm in Pennsylvania, and uh, oh, about once every two weeks, I, I spent all summer there working on the farm. We'd be baling hay in August. That's what we did in August. You baled hay. And when you were done baling your hay, you know what you did? 
you went over and helped the other guy bail his haste, and you were never really done. So every couple of weeks, my grandmother would say, oh, go up to the wash house and bring in a ham. And I'd go out, and there'd be these hams hanging from the ceiling, and we'd bring in a ham, and she'd carve it up and put it in the oven. We'd have baked ham for supper, and that was good. But there was nothing as good as when my Aunt Ruth took the leftovers of the baked ham, and she would affix this metal meat grinder to the side of the table, and she'd feed that ham in and grind and grind and grind into this big silver bowl. And then she'd make ham salad. And for two or three days for lunch, we'd have ham salad sandwiches. The best ham salad you would ever have in the history of the world. And I have been searching the world for a ham salad as good as that, never found it. That was the most amazing leftover I ever had, and I still remember it. It feeds me not like the bread of life, but the bread of blessing. And we share the bread of blessing, we share the bread of life, and it fills our hearts and our souls with the blessing of God. Let's bow our hands for a word of prayer. Jesus, we thank you for the gift and blessing leftovers. The experience of the blessing of God that finds us and then finds us again in a more powerful way and we are being blessed and we don't even realize how blessed we are. Bless us in our hearts and souls with the presence of Jesus Christ that he might fill us and feed us on the bread of God. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. Amen. So I brought you something today. Leftovers. <laughs> leftovers. Everybody gets some leftovers. We had these a couple of weeks ago. Animal crackers. That's right. So everybody gets some animal crackers. One for your brother. And one for you. And one for you. And one for you. And for you. And for your brother. Whoa. There we go. Leftovers. And remember, Jesus' leftovers are the same, only better. And what did we have last week when we celebrated the blessing of God and it took a miracle? We had, we had, uh, we had ice cream. And I said, if it didn't melt, it would be a miracle. And today, what do we have? Ice cream, the same, only better. It says we're celebrating bread. What kind of ice cream do we get? An ice cream sandwich. Absolutely. Ice cream sandwiches all around. I don't know if your brothers will hang on until after church. So should I go to now or put it in the freezer and go pick it up after worship? There we go. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. And is Joshua in the back? No. Okay. <laughs> then church school is happening out that way. <laughs> <laughs>